Welcome to today's stream, everybody. We're gonna be carving pumpkins, we're gonna be decorating Halloween treats, we're gonna be uh, needing more bullets, potentially horror stories with chat. That's the rough plan of today, chat. So I hope you will enjoy the show, and I hope you look forward to a spoopy episode. I need more bullets, I need more bullets. Bigger weapons. Let's go to the gym, buddy. Let's go to the gym, buddy. Thank you for the protein, sir. You gotta pull your t-shirt up, man. You're hiding all the good stuff. Bigger weapons, bigger weapons. I need more bullets, I need more bullets. Did everyone get their clips in? <laughs> you forgot the gawk part? Gawk, 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 gawk. Stop it. Okay, we gotta load this later. Shoot, they shoot the cats or something. Do I embarrass you, Yabe? No, I'm just do it. So you've been embarrassed so much that it's no longer embarrassing? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'll take it. Chad, this is the pumpkin carving station. So, uh. here's the thing. Normally, you cut off the top here, right? But I actually heard that the pumpkin keeps a lot better if you start from the bottom. Honestly, who gives a fuck? <gasps> it's Halloween today anyway, so after today, it doesn't matter. Okay. the first person to like open one of these and be like, fuck, do I eat this? <laughs> so we're gonna save it. Thanks for the protein, sir. Thank you for the protein, sir. Thank you for the protein, sir. This is so much harder than I thought. Oh, no. Ugh, it's so slimy. Yep. Chad, what should I make? Wait, I want to make it clueless. Is that bad? How do we make it clueless? Or a clue looking at you. I need people to keep clue looking at you every once in a while. Oh, God. How am I supposed to make an iris in a pumpkin? This is gonna be a disaster. Sorry, I dropped that. It's okay. Okay, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm nailing this. I'm nailing this. Look, I'm so proud of myself. That's actually brilliant. Tell me that isn't chief. Tell me that isn't chief. Chief? Why does it look like it took a load to the face? Why did you say it like that? Be it's something about the mouth. Where? Because, Because he's like, he's doing this. Is my brain just damaged? Whoa, wait, it, they look great. Oh, look at it. I'm gonna get ya. So nice. You're so skibidi. Wow. Go. This is people ween. This is people ween. Pumpkins fly in the dead of night. Oh my god. Yay. Wow. Yes. <laughs> okay. Are we making a uh, uh, cupcakes? Yeah. Yippee. Oh. Does anyone know how these work? I don't know where the bullets go. How do kids figure this out? How do parents figure this out? Wait. <laughs> All right, chat, stay really still. <laughs> ah, I got him. You're dead. Yaba is making ah, frosting and I am loading bullets. Now we need some suggestions of what you guys want to see on the cupcakes. We have a lot of ice. Use your own ice. All right. Nah, just kidding. That's jokes, you guys. This thing is kind of a scam. The bullets come out from the center of this. I'm gonna try to shoot as fast as I can one time. Yeah. Oh, I'm in Yabba's chat. Nimd has some cheeks I'd like to fill up. <laughs> All right. So that's what they're talking about in Yabba's chats. I see a bullet in your pet. Stop! How much of this stuff do I take? I don't think we need the spritzes. We can just uh, slab it on. It's not mashed potatoes, it's frosted. <gasps> what did you just do? A little bit of vanilla? I took way too much. All right, Chad, what should I make first? A skeleton? I could make a sadi. I could make a sadi, the Halloween sadi. <laughs> it's pretty good. Ta -da! A freshly dug grave. Spoopy! That is spoopy. Huh? How was that a huh? Well, how am I supposed to make it then? His mouth is closed. Wait, his mouth is open. Uh -huh. Oh, and it's okay. Okay, Jet, check out our lovely people ween cupcakes. We've got Ohio cupcake, people cupcake, Beep. pot friend cupcake. Uh, pot friend is really nice. Yeah, it's good. Ghost cupcake, pumpkin cupcake, the nailsman cupcake. Pumpkin looks really good actually. Hot cupcake, Glebiglorp cupcake, and spider web. This is pretty impressive too. That was very symmetrical. You managed to get this. Good, Good job. job, friend. 
friend. <laughs> what is this? Here's my weapon. <laughs> you really think I would shoot you in the face? I'm gonna shoot you in the butt. Go. Is it ready to fire? I don't know. Ow! <laughs> Bullseye! My god! I hate pictures! A ghost and his French mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, can I shoot Miss one time? Absolutely not. But he is such an easy target. Don't even say it. Well, I think that about does it for uh, this portion of the stream. Okay. Here you go, chat. Hey, with the protein, sir. Okay, that's enough cooming for the day. All right, chat. So allegedly, some of you guys have spooky stories. Ooh. I used to live in a haunted house, which Ooh. was made probably a hundred years ago. My mother and her brother had a same kind of dream where they both saw a girl leading them to somewhere i don't know what it was or where it was but it was a closet like a small closet and literally when the kid like led them into the closet they got jump scared one of my relatives fell down the stairs <gasps> but someone like stopped him before he fully fell on the floor. Oh, so it was and, a friendly ghost. Yeah, the, apparently my dad said something that he saw the girl holding the guy, like saved him. And yeah, it sounds pretty weird because I can't believe this at all, but I think it's pretty interesting because seeing my mom's and dad's face and the speech, how they tell you this, it just sounds genuine. Bam, you lived here? Yeah, I actually did. Huve <laughs> Vito. <laughs> All right. Yeah, you have a good continued Halloween, my friend. Thanks for coming on. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. And hey, do. All right, let's do a tarot reading. Do all of chat. Let's do all of chat first. The past, the present, and the future. Okay, say stop. <laughs> stop. Okay. <laughs> okay, chat. This is your past. This is your present. All right, chat. This is it. There's a bunch of you here, so I'm sure there's someone who's gonna feel who's gonna be freaking out. All right, your past. You get a. Uh, you get this. The Ace of Pentacles. A tiny seedling once stood. It's the seed that takes root. Grounding you for the future. You're in the beginning phases. Okay, this is kind of spooky. This card stands for prosperous beginnings. Find a windfall of wealth headed your way. So this sounds really promising. So it sounds like your reading here is you were off to a good start. So this card describes how you're doing right now. So what happened to you right now? This card is called the Emperor. The Emperor is the father. He represents the side of you that's protective, decisive, and truly stable. Sometimes this card is literal and points to a paternal relationship in your life. Does anyone recognize this? No. <laughs> yeah, that, I was gonna say that doesn't sound like chat at all. Nim, I'm pregnant? Maybe. Now let's see what's in your future. That's maybe the most exciting card. Oh, wait, what is this? Wait, this doesn't look like a positive card. This is a bunch of sticks. This is your future, chat. Scattered, lack of focus, and lost. You may find yourself scattered, distract distracted, tending to everything and nothing. Your energy moves outward in many directions, yet you're suffering inside. Ah, oh, fuck. I'm sorry, chat. Did I just jinx all of you guys now? Do one, now do you. Okay, I'll do me. Oh, that does not look good either. Is this me getting like a colonoscopy when I turn 40 or something? Sudden movement or change? The eight of wands strikes like lightning. It's a card of news, change, or clarity in an unresolved situation. Oh my god, OTK is about to call me. Here, this is Russell's future. Wait, that looks decent though. What is this? Victory, success, and rising up? God damn it! If you're not reveling in the joy of success already, you will be soon. Let's give you Irab a card. Mother of Wands. The Mother of Wands is a vibrant woman and happy mother. Family comes first in her world. She's very protective of it and is the dominant parent within the home. Hmm, it's important not to get on her bad side. <laughs> Zoil? All right, let's see how Zoil's doing. Illusion and deception? This almost sounds like me. The Seven of Cups is not the most welcome card. It indicates you'll face temptation in many aspects of your life. You may feel as though you can't see clearly, can't judge right from wrong or up from down. Oh no, Zoil, don't fall for whatever temptation comes your way. Please, God. 
What is this? Go full cam, point the camera at your window, stand still outside and stare into the camera for five minutes. Bro, do you know how cold it is outside? Now, chat, say goodnight.